and welcome to the introduction to the BW Clip 4 from Honeywell. Uh, I'm going to unbox this brand new unit. So it comes uh, fully boxed. It's available in both the black and yellow variants. I have to have a yellow variant here. So to unbox, you can see inside we have the unit itself. This is a deactivated unit at the moment. Uh, it's connected to the box, so just simply unclip from the back. Remove the BW Clip floor. Uh, it also comes with a calibration adapter, uh, length hose for calibration purposes, uh, the standard gas detection quick start guide and manual, um, any certification that might be with it, so this happens to be uh, the certificate of configuration, and then a very simple quick start guide, um, which just goes through some of our detectable gases, how to calibrate the instrument, the process for calibration, etc. So all of this is contained within the box. This is a four gas uh, disposable instrument. Um, there's nothing to do, do internally with the instrument, uh, so no service work to be done. Uh, it needs to be uh, calibrated as per local regulations, so usually we would recommend a, a calibration once every six months and potentially a bump test uh, once a day or once a week, depending on site requirements. Um, once the unit is in operation, there's obviously no charging. So in this top section here, we've got the uh, infrared LEL sensor. In the bottom section, we've got the O2 and the CO and H2S sensor. So this is a Duotox um, CO H2S sensor, and then we've got the alarm lights around the top. Um, there's obviously a screen protector on the front of this instrument, um, but then it's a single button operation, turn it on and away it goes for the next two years. So I will just hold the button down, three, two, one, and we have activated that instrument. So now it's gonna go through a series of tests, uh, give us its firmware revisions, etc., cetera, um, and then it's gonna do a one minute startup for the instrument, just to get the instruments warmed up and activated. So we can see it's now finished its startup procedure and now it's giving us our standard four gas measurements uh, and this will now run for the next uh, two years. Um, it will give you an indication, uh, there's a heartbeat on here just to let you know everything's working as it should be and away we go. And next thing we'll have a quick look at the calibration function on the instrument. So to get into the menu structure on the instrument it's two quick presses. And then we can see some general information. Uh, it's hold down the button to get in some general information. So three, two, one. And we can see any alarms that have been set up on this particular device. I obviously showed it some gas a minute ago. Um, any TWA, STEL values. And then we can reset the TWAs and STELs when the next calibration is due, what my alarm settings are set to, any firmware revision and then how long this instrument's running. It will also give you a continuous indication in the bottom left hand side of the instrument. And then we're back to where we started. So if I go back into the menus again, uh, to bump test the instrument, I'd hold down the button. So we'll perform a very quick bump test on the device. So I'll hold that down. And now it's doing an audio visual test. That passed, so I'm gonna hold down. So that's passed the audio visual test. And now it's say, giving me 60 seconds to apply the gas. So I'll turn my gas on and apply my calibration adapter. It is quite a tight fit, so you've got to make sure it's clicked into position properly on the instrument. And it's now just waiting to see the gas. So it's obviously recognized the gas is there and it's now performing the bump test. It wants to get look for a good stable flow. I've got a can of uh, 10 ppm H2S, uh, 50 ppm CO, 50% LEL, and 18% oxygen here. <laughs> so we can see those values are pretty stable. And now it lets me know to turn the gas off, which I shall do now, and I'll remove this clip just to let it aspirate out. It will take a few seconds to uh, acknowledge the gas has been removed. And we can see that bump test has been passed. And then if we wanted to perform a full calibration, uh, so a full gas calibration, I can hold down the button and we'll perform a calibration function. First it will zero the detector. 
so to give us a nice clean baseline for our first point of our calibration. Um, provided that passes, it will then pass you into a full span calibration gas. So we can see that's past the zero, so that's phase one. Uh, now you should acknowledge whether you've got the correct gas settings. Um, if so I can cancel, um, manually cancel the calibration function if I do, don't want to. And again, it will still give me uh, my countdown till the next available calibration slot. And then we go into normal detection mode on the instrument and this is how you should leave it for the course of the runtime of the instrument. Um, again, obviously we've got the 24 month countdown. It lets me know that everything's okay on the, ox um, on the instrument by a flashing uh, light. And that's basically the operation of the BW Clip 4. Um, should you need any more information or assistance, then please do get in contact. Many thanks. Alternatively, you can go and visit our website at www.safetymonitors.co.uk or do give us a call on 01489 890 458 between 9 and 5 Monday to Friday or outside of normal working hours, please do give us a call on 07951 854 824. We're here when you need us, and we understand that the normal nine to five day doesn't always apply. So please do feel free to give us a call. Thanks for visiting, and we hope to see you again soon.